Hello and welcome. This is episode, sorry, chapter three of Assassin's Creed Odyssey with Cassandra and my name is Kira. So we're at Marcos's vineyard. We've come to um, talk to Marcos about this new main storyline quest that he's got for us. Um, and in doing so, just to let you know, I've already looted it because I was bad. But there is a chest here that you can loot. Um, if you crouch and you kind of like hide over here and loot, no one will notice you're stealing. So you probably won't get a bounty, but you might. Up to how observant the people were designed to be today. It's just a bit of randomness in this game. I do enjoy it. Alright, let's go and talk to Marcos. Whee! Ah! Here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits, and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drachmi to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Positive rather than negative. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <laughs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his drachme, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. What did this guy do? I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Cassandra. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. <sighs> okay. We'll go and do all of this. I mean... Usually I do this when I'm a, a lot higher level, but um, since I'm kind of doing things, everything kind of in an organized fashion, shall we say, so it's easier for you guys to see where the videos all come from and so forth, um, we'll do it this way. And it should be okay. We shouldn't have too much of a problem. Um, the quests do kind of, um, to a certain extent, level down to what your level you are. So find a Cyclops' layer. <coughs> Excuse me. The Cyclops lives in Catalonia. Well, that's a great start. Um, he's home in the west of the Cursed Valley of Pali. Cursed Valley of Pali. West. Never eat soggy wheat bigs. Okay, so this that way. Um, which would assume, we're going to have to say, it's going to be where the question mark is. Or it's either th that question mark or this question mark. It should be this one. Right, so let's go and have a look. Oop. Now to find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marco says, it'll be hidden. 
Quiero que mandes. And TBR. So this is where um, the layer is, and you can tell because he always says, "You're close to your target. Call Icarus." And we've just discovered it. All right, let's call Icarus as they I suggest. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Why Zeus? The Cyclops doesn't mess around. All right, let's have a look. Hello, I. I see you. And I see you. Um, don't forget, you can always far cry this. So if you really want to, you can actually use um, your bow. Or you can sneak down, unlock those cages, and let the animals take care of a lot of them. Um, and also don't forget to actually s go all the way around the compound and tag everyone you can. Because the last thing you really want is to be caught out by one of the... Um, the guards that you didn't tag. Um, not that it's happened to me or anything. God. What do you think? Like, that I'm really, really bad at this game? Yeah, I am. You got me. So we're just gonna let this lion out. Oops, that did not work. There we go. Go for it, lion. Do your worst. Okay, so we've let one of the animals out. We'll let the lion do its job a bit. Oops, we didn't even notice that guy, even though he was tagged. Oh god. There we go, that's taken care of. Two down. That guy's just oblivious over there. Let's take him out. There we go. Did the lion manage to do any damage to him? Yeah, fair bit. There we go. Um, I usually find finding a high position and writing errors down on people to be very convenient and a good way of getting things done real quickly. And even if they notice you, it doesn't really matter because there's no bonuses for getting going unnoticed. It's actually not an Assassin Creed Assassin Creed. So there is always that. The only thing I would recommend is that you don't forget to loot. So as you're going around, you might want to do another loop around to fully loot everyone after you're done. Um, but that's up to you. Um, this is just my preferred way of doing things. Or well, climbing high and... You know, being generally cowardly about it, but it's also because I'm lower level than I usually like to take this place, and I don't feel as confident as I usually do. Oops. All right, let's let that lion out. Let the idiot deal with it. Can't quite see him. So we can't just assassinate him, but he, this idiot should be coming around to where we can kill him. There we go. Um, got a guy coming this way to avoid the lion. And whilst the lion's doing some damage. Oh, never mind, the lion did it. Um, now we have a captain sort of by himself. Nice. Never seen Ooh. Now we've got a lot of people. Okay. Let the lion take care of that problem whilst we take care of this problem. Hey, nothing. You saw nothing. It's all good. Bit cowardly, but it gets the job done. Oh, the lion is dead. Oh, I'm kind of sad about that. It was doing such a good job killing these idiots for me. 
Are you gonna come up here? Well, if you're gonna come up here, then by all means. So just before they notice you, if you do um, hit them with, say, um, an attack, if you do manage to push the Y button just before they notice you, then you can actually get away with um, having been able to assassinate this one. Um, being able to assassinate them. So, I'm not actually going to show every single assault on a fort that I do from this point. Because it's not... Like, they're not very distinct. Um, a lot of the forts are going to work out exactly the same way. You're going to sneak or try to sneak and then get found, etc. Um, so, what I am going to do is, from the next sort of fort, etc. Unless there's something... Um, that's important, I'm going to just speed it up. But this is quest related, so I might just keep, leave it in. Um, I'm trying to keep the, basically the length of the videos down, because I did find that they get really long, and they do drag on a bit. That's uh, Obsidian Eye. You've got it. Sweet. We can go back to Marcos and report that we've gotten it. Um, there's also a lot of loot lying around in this um, fort, so don't forget to collect it. Also, don't forget to collect your loot from any um, captains in particular that you may have killed, because they usually have good loot on them, so you don't want to miss out on any of that. But I will speed up the rest of the looting process. We are back to Marcos's vineyard. Um, I've looted everything on the way and everything is good. I am pleased. I be careful! Do you know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. I'm starting to get annoyed at him. Right. Your fun, my blood. You can't keep dragging me into things, Marcos. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Quiere, Marcos. Uh, wait, I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back? Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast... Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest, south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. So, if... Oh. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. 
Alright, so we've got a new main quest. So it is fancy guests. So we're gonna go and find some kills find and kill some newcomers. By the way, Cassandra, this is not how we do tourism. Alright, so we've leveled up <coughs> and I noticed that I've been really really bad at actually assigning my points. So that's what I am going to do now. So with the points, this is going to be some of my suggestions. Yes. Um, Sparta Kick is fun, but you can also get a ability later on called Ring of Chaos, which does very much a similar thing. But this is very, very satisfying, and it's also a subdue technique. So if you want to end up recruiting someone, you can use this instead. So at the moment, I am going to get Spartan Kick, because why not? It's fun, and I love kicking people off things. You know, uh, Shadow Assassin. It increases your assassinate damage, and it's basically like a passive, pass, uh, passive thing. Um, the good thing with this is that it allows you to play a, this game like the past Assassin Creed games, where you just one hit someone if you're assassinating them. So I would definitely suggest that. I would also suggest the Predator Shot. It's basically like. A zoom in sniper rifle situation with your bow and I am in love with this ability I don't use spread shot um, I don't really use multi shot I just like this ability this is what I like this is what I stick with and then I just upgrade the hell out of like my bow mastery and all of that but that's just me the good thing is you can play around with your abilities because they you can reset them so keep that in mind um, and decide what works for you um, everyone's going to have different things that works for them. You can you can see that I haven't actually done a synchronization. I plan to do that as a part of the um, run around and get everything synchronized and all of the areas sort of um, the mini areas all sorted. Um, but if you want to go ahead and do that, by all means, go and do it because it is a good idea. Um, there are also side quests which I said um, I will get done at a later time. Um, I'll get that all sorted all in one go. Alright, so we're going to the abandoned house, which is over here. I've um, so seen it on my way past to get to Sami. But if you haven't, you can actually see where it's likely to be. So, because this is the, um, if you go through the map, this is the coast of Kolia Dai. Um, and the newcomers are using an abandoned house and they're landed east of the, col um, the coast. So this is the east side, this is the coast nearest to the coast other than the town is either this one or this one so you got one out of two it's not that yeah so the exploration mode yes it does leave a lot of things out in the open but it doesn't make it difficult so let's just run over there and see what chaos we can cause Alright, so once again, same routine. Once you get to a location that you know is hostile, and you can tell you're approaching a hostile location because you'll see um, the yellow banding around the name of the location and stuff like that, and that basically tells you you know you're in for a fight. Um, when the it goes house and the people. When it goes to red, you're in the hostile zone, and if anyone spots you in that zone, they will automatically attack you. So in the yellow zone, they'll just warn you. They'll just be like, Mystios, you don't want to be here today. It's like, okay. But, so I usually find being in the yellow zone is a good place to start with the sneaking and um, doing the viewing. Because if you call Icarus from too far away, you have to fly him over to the location before you can do your scanning. But if you fly him off from where you are, it's a lot easier. It's a lot quicker. So, as I said, I am going to speed this up, but it's all going to be about just sneaking, and if you if I fail the sneaking, you're going to see me in combat. Simple as that, really. Okay. 
I normally have someone else do the field work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. Cool, come and collected. It comes with the territory. Then you're just the mysterious I'm looking for. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster. The man. You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is. If you'll follow me, Cassandra. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Penelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. Okay. The shroud of Penelope? The wife of Odysseus? You're joking. A piece of it, yes. Impossible. If it existed, it would be priceless. Which is why I want it back. Ithaca is not a small island. I need more information. I'd start at the home of Odysseus. Well, what's left of it? An inspiring tale. A reunion of past lovers. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the Shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius, don't fail. Ooh, the plot thickens. Okay, so things are just about getting interesting, let's be honest. Um, but before we go over to the island of Ithaca, which is right over that way, by the way, um, we're actually going to go and do some side quests. So next chapter will be the side quest chapter. And possibly two. It depends. But yes, so we're going to do some side quests. And we might get started um, clearing out all the question marks and so forth before we go over to Ithaca. So hope you'll come back for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, then please come back for the next one. Um, and have a lovely, lovely day. Mwah!